so hello hello it is monday late afternoon it is 3 49 i got home not quite an hour ago i have been up now for 24 hours and i stayed up because i went to get my or i wanted to get my nails which i did my nails and my toes did and my eyebrows done so I wanted to be at the shop pretty much when they opened and when I got there or I guess they must have had appointments or something they told me to come back in two hours and so I went back in a little less than two hours and I just got home like I said not quite an hour ago I got my nails did and this finger on both hands is different because he couldn't get the butterfly flower on the other finger. He barely got it on this finger. I will show y'all the other hand. It looks like these two. It was just kind of like, fuck it. He kept trying, but it was just like, you know, I don't want to worry about it. So I took off the nails that I had on. And this hand, all of these are my real nails. This hand, these are fake nails because he cut this hand down too short before he got to that hand and I told him that we had already talked about since my nails were long enough once I took off the nails that we were gonna just put the powder over my nails but apparently he forgot so he cut this hand down too short so these are fake nails so once these nails grow more they will be my real nails but this hand is my real nails he just put the acrylic clear uh, powder over my real nails but there is no fake nail on this hand these are all my nails but like I said these are fake nails with the acrylic clear <clears throat> powder and you see this finger is similar to these two because like I said he could not get it's like it's, a, it's like a tattoo but it just was not sticking and he tried more than one and they just were not working he like I said he barely got this one on I'm trying to let y'all see what it looks like it's a butterfly and then a flower I just told him, I was like, don't worry about it. He had been trying for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm about to eat. Sorry about that. And I always get my toes to match my nails. So it's the same color pink as on my nails. It's on my toes. Ugly feet. I got my eyebrows did. I get them did about every four weeks because I personally think that they look better after a week and for sure after the second week like I feel like right now they're a little bit too thin for my liking which I know y'all will be like are you serious but you know my eyebrows get really thick and I like them thick even when I get them done I mean they're still thick but for me especially like this part could have definitely been a little bit thicker but I know that after like a week and definitely the second week they're gonna look amazing back home now I'm about to eat I haven't eaten since about uh, probably 1 a.m. and it's almost 4 p.m. I'm hungry I'm not starving but I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat I have a Red Bull right here I'm gonna drink I drank like I opened up two Monster Energies this morning before I left, before I took my shower and all that. And I took a B Complex and Monster Energy is B Vitamin 2. I feel I'm tired, but I don't feel as tired as I normally would when I've been up for 24 hours. But because I drank those two Monster Energies very early this morning, well, it was not quite too because I didn't finish either one of them. I've come to the conclusion that monster energy is just not for me mm -mm. i had two different flavors and they're both no so i'm gonna stick with red bull but they didn't have any red bull when i went to walmart saturday so that's why i had to get to monster energy 
but I'm not gonna do monster anymore it's just not for me but I think between me drinking almost two of those the B complex it definitely gave me a boost of energy and I'm not as tired as I normally would be and I'm gonna drink the Red Bull because I definitely want to try to stay up until at least eight well later because I've been waiting to see Brandy versus Monica on versus on Instagram and I don't want to watch it as a replay I want to watch it live with everybody else I have been waiting and it's such a big deal everybody is waiting for it I'm super excited so I definitely want to see that tonight live while it's happening so I'm gonna try to stay up for that if not I'll catch the replay but I'm gonna try I'm gonna stay here and eat my salad and watch a little TV and relax and try not to fall asleep. So hello, hello. It is Tuesday evening, almost night. It is 7.58 and I'm starting to fog very late. So this is probably gonna go into tomorrow because I don't think I'm gonna record enough for the rest of the day to have a full vlog for today. So I am cooking nothing crazy i am just making some yellow rice and i'm just gonna put some hamburger meat in this because i can't eat rice by itself it's just gonna have some hamburger meat in it and the hamburger meat is in said pot i'm about to start cooking and this is what i put in it black pepper some Lowry's seasoning, seasoned salt, some Tony, I don't know how you say this name, but Creole original seasoning, garlic powder, cause y'all know I put that in everything, it's my fave. And then parsley because it's my fave herb. I am going to put the hamburger meat. When that's done, I'm gonna set that to the side. Then I'm going to put on the rice and I'm going to use a little bit of the oil that's going to strain off of the hamburger meat. I know it's dark. I'm in my son's room. I'm going to have this TV on while I'm cooking and watch me some tea mom because the season premiere is tonight. But I'm going to use a little bit of the oil from the hamburger meat and put it in the rice just so the rice can have a little bit more of that flavoring. So I'm going to just sit in here and wait for the meat to cook. I don't wanna leave the kitchen and go get comfortable in my office. So I'm just gonna wait for the hamburger meat to get done, which only takes a few minutes. And then I'm gonna put the rice on and then I'm gonna go back in my office and finish watching Chicago PD and then pick up on Team Mom wherever I leave off right now. So I will be back. So the meat is done and I'm about to drain it and get the rice on. Okay, so I have the meat already strained, this one, and then this is what was left because it was a bigger thing of hamburger meat so it wouldn't all fit in here so I strained this one first and then that little bit and then that is all of the grease that came out. And I am going to use a little bit of that grease to put in the rice just for flavoring and for a little bit of fat content. The rice is in here. It hasn't started cooking yet. And this is just water that it's in. So I'm going to let this start cooking and I'm going to let it cook for like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to add the meat. Well, I'm going to add some of the grease and I'm going to add the meat. Just a little bit of the grease, not that much. Then I'm gonna add the meat and then I'm gonna let it cook a little bit longer and then it'll be done. Simple meal, but good meal. Okay, so it is done now. Let me take it off of the eye. It is done, but I am gonna add some more water to the pot because this is too dry for me. I like for there to be a lot of juice in my food. I did add some chicken broth to it, but I'm going to add a little bit more water to it. Just a little bit. I mean, it's juicy, but I just want to add a little bit more. 
but I'm gonna fix me a plate and I'm gonna sit down and eat because it's 8.42 and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm starving. So I will be back in a little bit. So All right, I'll be back later. This is it in my plate. And it's a lot because I'm starving. I haven't eaten today. Hamburger meat and Cajun yellow rice. Good meal. Simple 30 minute meal, but it's good. Not everything has to be cooked from scratch all the time and have a million steps. Sometimes a nice, good box dinner is clutch, okay? And it's just as good as something that took two hours to make with a thousand different steps. And I love Xanarin's. Their food is bomb. I'm about to eat. And then I'm going to eat me some cake and ice cream, okay? After I eat my popcorn after this. Going to have me a three-course meal. side of the room when I vlog but and as you can see I'm about to go to bed but I am gonna vlog today when I get up so I vlogged some yesterday and I'm gonna vlog today and I think I'm gonna you know what no I'm not gonna say that because the plan is when I get up to finish editing part four of my office makeover and then start editing part five and get that done because i just started recording part six so i just have a little bit more part four to finish get started and finish editing part five that way i'm not overwhelmed and once i am ready to put these vlogs up of my office makeover all i have to do is save them to my iMac and upload them to YouTube um, and I've been doing pretty good about staying on track of editing them so I just gotta finish off for part four get started on part five and finish that off and like I said I just started recording part six so that is a plan for today just editing once I get up I gotta vlog up I think this one I'm probably not gonna start editing it until tomorrow because I really just want to focus on finishing editing my office makeover vlogs. This one probably won't even go up until Friday but I'm gonna go to bed and I will see y'all later. So hello hello it is Thursday afternoon. I just got done vlogging part six of my office makeover. I got some packages in today for that. That's not gonna be a part of this, as y'all know. All of that is gonna be separate and I'm still not sure when I'm gonna even get that those vlogs up because I'm not even gonna start uploading them until the room is done or almost done. And that's gonna be a while because there's still quite a bit in here I need to do. There's still quite a bit I need to order and buy. And so. But anyway. I got a package today that is none room related. I've had my eye on some for a while or one for, well some, cause I wasn't sure exactly what kind I wanted. And then I figured I would do marble since you know, marble is a part of this room. Normally I wouldn't go with one so dark. You know, it goes with the room, why not? So with that being said, um, you know, I like to try to change out my iPhone cases every so often. And y'all know I love pop sockets. And I've had this, I've been using this one again for about a month and a half. But I feel like this is more of a decorative case. You know, it's hard and I definitely prefer outer box. And I have, I have outer box, but I didn't really like the color of it over time. Plus I've really been wanting one of these pop socket one from outer box 
I finally ordered one from Macari. So I went with this black and white marble one. Like I have been wanting one of these outer pop ones for so long. I'm so excited. Look at it. And I can take it out because I want to take some pictures of it first. Look how cute. Yes. And if you know me, you know I love out of box. I have been riding on out of box for 10 years. So I guess I can take it out to show you. So this is the inside. This is the back. I'm gonna take some pictures of this and then I'm gonna get it on my phone. Super excited. Um, but other than that, today I'm gonna be editing. I'm gonna finish, finally finish part four of my room makeover. And then I'm gonna start editing part five and get that done. And I'm gonna vlog the rest of my day. Um, doing, I don't know. Oh, I've been wanting these for so long. This is probably the last case I'm gonna buy for this phone. Cause I do wanna upgrade when the new phone comes out. I think I'm good to use this until then. Cause we're already in September. And the new one's gonna come out in what? The next month or two. And I'm not gonna get the first batch. I'm gonna wait until it's been out for a few months. Probably till after the first of the year. Because we all know when you get the first batch, those are the ones that are messed up. Never buy the new iPhones when they first come out. Wait a few months. Wait two or three months so that they fixed all the glitches. I would never buy from the first batch. So probably like after the first of the year. I'm going to just rock this one until then. But I love it. And again, I got this off of Macari. And she said it was brand new. And it is. And this is for the iPhone XS Max. Because... That's the phone I have. I'm gonna take some pictures and pop this on my phone. And I will be back later. Okay, so here I am unboxing one of the lights for my bedroom that I'm gonna use when I vlog in there. I forgot to actually speak about this because I had it a part of my office room makeover and then I realized that's not going in the office it's going in the bedroom so then I had to slip it into this vlog because it was the same day so that's why it just goes from the phone case to this okay, so yeah, this is the tripod this is a heavy duty tripod so this is the tripod for it I'm not going to take this stuff out of the box because all of this stuff has to be put together oh this shit's kind of heavy that's on and then this is the light. So once I have it up, I'll show y'all. For now, I'm just gonna keep them in the box. That is everything 